Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Did you know that your phone may be sharing your phone number by default with apps and websites without you even realizing it? You didn't give permission, but it's happening anyway. Most smartphones are set up with default settings that quietly allow apps and websites to access your personal data, including your phone number. And once your number is exposed, there's no telling where it could end up. It could land in the hands of scammers who are just one call away from stealing your identity, telemarketers who will flood your phone with endless spam, or worse, data brokers who sell your number on the dark web without you ever knowing. If you've been receiving strange calls lately, this might be why. In this video, I'll show you exactly how to shut down these dangerous settings and protect your number before it's too late. Before we start, click the like icon, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you won't miss helpful tips like this. The first thing to do, stop Google from sharing your phone number with apps. Open your phone's settings, scroll down and tap on Google, then go to all services. Look for phone number sharing. This feature allows Google to share your number with third-party apps when they request it. Turn off the switch next to it. Now apps won't be able to get your number through Google. Two, stop websites from accessing your number via Chrome. Open the Google Chrome browser on your phone. Tap the three-dot menu at the top right corner. Scroll down and tap settings. Select addresses and more. Look for the option called save and fill addresses this can store your phone number. Turn it off to stop websites from autofilling or saving your number. Malicious websites and pop-up forms can trick Chrome into autofilling your phone number automatically, even without you realizing it. Some sites use hidden fields to secretly collect your number, and if someone else accesses your phone, even briefly, they can trigger autofill and instantly see your saved details. Worse still, if your device is ever compromised, Certain apps with accessibility or browser access can extract this autofill data, including your phone number. Let's proceed to the next one. Step three, check which apps can access your contacts. Go to settings again, use the search bar and type in permission manager or scroll down to privacy and security. Select privacy and tap on permission manager. Tap on contacts you'll now see a list of apps with access to your contact list. Ask yourself, does this app really need to read my contacts? For example, does your gallery app need access to contacts? No. Tap any unnecessary app and choose Don't Allow. Giving dangerous or untrusted apps access to your contacts is a serious privacy risk. You're not just exposing your own phone number, you're giving these apps access to the names, phone numbers, and email addresses of everyone saved on your phone. These apps can steal your entire contact list, upload it to their servers, and sell the data to spammers, scammers, or data brokers. They might also use it for targeted scams or phishing attacks. Even worse, some of these apps have no reason to need that access in the first place, like flashlight, wallpaper, or photo filter apps. If an app doesn't need your contacts to function, it shouldn't have that permission. Always review your app permissions and deny contact access to anything suspicious. 4. Stop apps from accessing your call logs. Your call logs don't just show who you called, they can also reveal your own phone number, especially on dual SIM phones or when calling voicemail. Some apps misuse this to track your call history or extract personal data. Deny access to any app that doesn't actually need it. This helps stop apps from spying on your calls or pulling your number without permission. By changing these settings, you avoid annoying telemarketing calls. Prevent apps from selling your number to third parties. Protect your personal info from scams or fraud. Take back control of your digital privacy. And don't worry, if an app really needs a permission to work, it will ask you again the next time you use it. You can always allow it if you think it's necessary. Your privacy is your responsibility. Don't wait until your data is sold or your number is flooded with spam. Avoid giving out your phone number to enter giveaways, claim prizes, or verify your identity on suspicious websites. Messages like you've won or unexpected login pages asking for your number are often data harvesting traps designed to collect and sell your information. Instead, 
protect your real number by using a Google Voice number or a temporary phone number from apps like TextNow, Burner, or Hushed. If this video helped you, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more privacy and tech tips.